Now let's take a look at the jumpsuit and how we can start to add some texture to this. So let's go ahead and turn off some of the other uh, items here. So I'm going to come down, turn off the padding, the sash, the wood, and let's also turn off the gold. So now we can see things a little bit better. All right. And so we're looking at this and let's concentrate on the jumpsuit part. All right. So the jumpsuit is going to be this kind of black uh, fabric. And obviously, as with anything, you can change the colors and, and the patterns that we use. Um, but I just want to kind of explain how we're breaking this down. So this main part is going to be uh, sort of a velour or a felt kind of looking material. And then on the trim, I want to make that a little bit more like a satin, like a shinier uh, look and a different color. And so we've got this bit coming up and around this sort of uh, enclosure here, and then also along the legs as well. I want to make that uh, that satin color. So we've got kind of two different materials that we want to add. And then also on the main part of it, I want to have a repeating pattern uh, in the print. And so let's again, still on the, on the body layer, add another group of layers to kind of dial this in. And so let's add and start with a fill layer. So I'm going to go ahead and create a fill and just dump it right at the top. And we're going to make this the main part of the jumpsuit. And so I'm going to come down to the roughness and I want to just increase that roughness a little bit. So I'm at around 0.7. We can modify this later, but I think that's probably pretty good. Now let's choose a pattern to use. And we can do that by going to procedurals. You can come down here and you can see there's a bunch of different tiling patterns that you can use. And so you can do it that way. And let me actually show you, I'll show you how to do it this way. And then I'll show you with the alphas as well. So for instance, if you wanted to create one of these patterns, I would just drop this into the base color. And inside of this, if we open up the parameters, there are actually some tiling. There's a tiling slider and you can tile it how you want. And if you wanted to make this higher, you could just enter that number. You can also change the scale of each one of these. So if you use these procedurals here, you have a lot of control and it happens very, very quickly. All right. And so that's one way to go about it. But if you don't see the shape that you like, uh, you can actually use a single alpha. So in my case, I'm going to go to alphas and the one that I chose, you can see there are a lot of different patterns in here. You can bring your own in as well. There's lots of different kinds of shape. There's kind of a Celtic wave, uh, cross, uh, lots of different kinds of shapes. The one that I want to get is I'll choose circle. This circular stick is the one that I've used. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this and this is not a repeating pattern. This is one instance of this alpha, which you can use for a lot of different things but we're going to just drop it into the base color, just like we did with that procedural. And you can see it's just one instance dropped in there right now. And so under the parameters, we don't have the ability to change the tiling in here. All of these parameters change the look of a single instance. And so to change the tiling, I'm just going to go up to scale and I'm going to increase this scale amount, All right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to increase this to maybe, I don't know, 40 to 60, something like that. It's maybe a little bit too small. And then go back to the parameters and I want to give some space between there. And so you can come in here, you can change the number of lines around there. So let's set it to maybe five or six. We can change the offset, something like that. We can change the length of the bars so we can make them a little bit shorter. And so you have a lot of flexibility still in creating the look that you want. All right. We've also got the bar width. We can make this kind of a little bit less obvious. Let's do maybe 0.02, something like that. And I'm going to change this to maybe 45. So I still want to be able to see it. All right, let's go back into the roughness. And I just want to play with the roughness. I'm going to actually increase it a little bit. So it's really, really matte. And then I'll contrast well with the uh, kind of satin look that we'll have for the other bits. Okay, we'll call this something like jump base. And now let's create the satiny kind of look for the trim. And so to do that, let's go ahead and add a fill layer. All right. And let's go into the base color and I'm going to choose either kind of a blue or a, or a bluish purple. It's up to you, but let me, let me something like that. Maybe be a little bit more purple in there. Maybe something like that. Okay. For the color. And now for the uh, the rest of this, I want to actually dial this in to be more of a satiny kind of a look. And to do that, 
uh, we can play with the roughness, but also the metallic. And so if we start to bring this metallic up, you can see that really helps create that kind of effect. So I can increase the roughness a little bit, but I still want it to be nice and shiny. So my roughness is there about 0.3 with the metallic up at 0.7. We can bring that up even a little bit further. And let's go ahead and turn off the height and I'll turn off normal as well. And so now what we can do is start to mask off uh, the different areas that we don't want. So in this case, it's probably easier to mask the areas we do want to have this. And so let's go ahead and use a black mask and then we'll paint in with white. So let's go back to our brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and get a basic soft brush on the mask, uh, but I'm also gonna come in and let's increase the hardness a bit. So I do wanna have, I don't wanna have it completely hard uh, edge of the brush, but I do wanna soften it a little bit. And so now we can come in and we should be able to see the lines on there. If you can't, you might wanna move the lighting a little bit, but now we can come in and mask off this area. And so you can see inside of the mask, we're able to now see that satin kind of material instead of the other material. All right, and so we wanna go in and just start to mask off these different areas. In areas that are away from the seam, you can be a little bit more cavalier about where you're painting. But then when you get closer to the seam, you'll want to ideally get right up to that edge. And remember, this is just a black and white mask. So if you happen to get too far over, you can very quickly just switch. If you're using white, you can switch to black, go back in and paint on the other side to kind of erase what you've done. And so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this in. All right, and then I'll also mask off on the legs. Let's go ahead and turn on our symmetry for this so I don't have to do it twice. And it's okay if you overlap a little bit on some of these other shells. Okay, so we've got that added. So now we just need to mask off the other uh, shells that we don't need. And we can do that using our fill. All right, so we've got those masked off. Now we just need to mask off on the jump base, the areas of the body that we don't want to receive uh, this jumpsuit pattern. Let's go ahead and create a black mask. And then I'll come in with fill and white and go ahead and add those different pieces back in. So now we've got our jumpsuit being created by this jumpsuit base pattern here, as well as this satiny kind of material for the trim. So let me go ahead and call this trim. And again, you can always go in to the color. And with that set up, we can change the hue very easily. So we could make this more of a blue if we wanted to. You can adjust that so easily. All right, and also the, the uh, parameters that make it look shiny and, and more satin-like. Let's go ahead and grab both of these and let's right click and I'll group those layers and we'll call this jumpsuit. So now we've got our skin base, our bone, and our jumpsuit all on our body. And so the next thing that we wanna do is to come in and actually texture the padding. So that's gonna be the stuff that's attached to the wood. And so we will do that next.